Hello and welcome, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this box with sliding dovetails. The first thing I did was to cut this piece of cherry to rough length using the radial arm saw. Then using the band saw I ripped it up into four equal sections. At the planer I then cleaned up the faces. I then repeated this process. Over at the planer I made sure that the edge was square. This is important so when I'm gluing it up there is no gap in between the boards. I then cut the sides to the correct length. Then, in the router, I applied the dovetail groove. This is how I connected the top and the bottom of the box. Using my mitre jig, I created the mitres. Click on the screen now if you want to see how I made it. Back over at the router, I then added the groove onto the top and the bottom. I then cut the top to the correct length. Using the belt sander, I cleaned up all the faces before I glued it together. Here I am cutting out a little slot on the top so that the box lid can slide in and out. I then added glue and glued up the pieces. The dovetail groove on the bottom will make sure that the sides are lined up correctly. I then added a few elastic bands first, for later adding some clamps. The next day I removed the clamps. Using a plane I made sure the bottom was flush. Unfortunately when I was cleaning the box up a tiny bit fell off and I couldn't find the piece as you can see from this picture here. So I decided to cut it off using the radial arm saw. However, I wasn't thinking what I was doing and unfortunately I realised that this would affect the appearance of the box due to the dovetail showing on the outside. From this picture you can see what I have done. For the final product I ended up just putting a piece of wood in there and gluing it in. Then I sanded the box. Then I applied a couple of coats of Danish oil. If you decide to make a box like this, the things you need to be careful of is making sure the mitres uh, match up and the sliding dovetail on the top sits flush. The slight problem with this one is it doesn't quite sit quite right and there's a bit of a gap, but apart from that it's fine. This is the final product. 
Thank you for watching, please like, rate, comment and subscribe. Please check out the videos on screen now.